the voice of Sherry. ASEAN Dailies, first and foremost news from Southeast Asia. Hello, welcome to Duran ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing. The Chinese New Year mood is still very much in full swing. Not surprisingly, that the major roads in Kuala Lumpur are smooth and traffic free. On our ASEAN Daily, we will bring you daily updates and commentaries on issues and events that is impacting this region. I am your host Arlene. And on this very fine Thursday, I will bring you the latest sociocultural and trends from Southeast Asia. Our top story today: the sales of personal computers in Southeast Asia has dropped last year at 5.5 percent. This is due to weak consumer demand and high inventories, which mirror the trend in the larger Asia Pacific. Shipments have fallen in the fourth quarter of 2015 compared with the equivalent period in 2014. This is according to a report by International Data Corporation, or short for IDC, a market in. Intelligence provider on IT, according to Jarit Sidu from IDC Asia Pacific, the decline in the consumer market was caused by both weak consumer demand and high inventories, especially in Thailand, Vietnam, and Malaysia. The improved enterprise investment could not help offset tepid spending from government and the small and medium enterprise segment. Besides the Chinese government's anti-corruption initiatives and decelerations in the manufacturing, construction, and mining sectors, affected commercial IT spending. While in Indonesia, the market was also weak because of lower government IT spending and a high inventory in the consumer channels throughout the year. IDC findings also tallies with Gartner's research. According to Gartner, all global regions have seen a decrease in the personal computer shipments. Enough about facts and figures. Let's get romance on this Valentine's Day. Well, except that in Cambodia, government hit out on Valentine's Day and warned students against losing the dignity of themselves and their families. This is based on a note sent to schools across the country. Valentine's Day has become a favorite among the young people in Southeast Asia, with bunches of red roses and heart-shaped. Chocolates cropping out in stores and on street stalls each February, but that has left some officials rattled, particularly in Cambodia. The Cambodian Ministry of Education said that increasingly popular holiday was driving young people, quote unquote, to overjoy, to forget about studying, and to lose the reputation and dignity of themselves and their families. It is not a traditional event of our Khmer people. That was the statement said, according to a copy seen by AFP. Well, the issues among teenagers that Cambodians are facing are real, definitely. The country has become notorious in recent years as a regional hub for selling young women's virginity to wealthy men. In fact, the birth rate among Cambodian teenagers was roughly the same as Thailand, at 47 per 1,000 girls from 2006 to 2010. Sex education, unfortunately, remains underfunded and of poor quality, partly because the subject of sex is so taboo. Let's move on to the next news. Do you want the Gurkhas to guard your country? Well, guess what? India is offering to send its Gurkhas. To Brunei, in fact, Britain could lose its last military outpost in the Far East after the offer. From India, Vice President Muhammad Hamid Ansari, the tiny oil-rich sultanate was a British protectorate 
for a hundred years and had continued to pay hosts a battalion of British Army Gurkhas since independence in 1984. The bilateral defence agreement involved joint military exercises and training, especially with the eminent threats from China's claims of the disputed maritime territory in the South China Sea. The thing is, based on the agreement, India has also offered to provide troops, including retired soldiers from the Gurkha Regiment, potentially superseding the current role of the 1,000-strong British Army in which the Sultan still pay tens of millions of pounds annually. Understandably, the Brunei Sultanate is making drastic defence cuts as oil-dependent economy in Brunei suffers from crumbling global oil prices. Perhaps it's cheaper to hire Gurkhas from India. That's all from our Durian ASEAN today. Thanks for tuning in to Durian ASEAN with me, Arlene. For more news and updates, please tune in to durianasean.com. If you are on the road, you can always download our tuning app at Durian ASEAN. Don't forget to like us on our Facebook page, Twitter and Instagram. We always welcome feedback from our listeners. Stay tuned for more updates at Durian ASEAN by tomorrow, same time at 8 to 9 a.m. on GMT Plus 8. Have a good day. You're now listening to Durian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing.